So whenever I'm throwing a swim jig, I almost always throw braid, especially when I'm around grass like this. So I do like to downsize the power of the rod, typically. This is a 7.3 medium heavy. Whenever you have braid and like a super heavy action rod, you know, and a lot of times these fish might bite 20 feet away. Whenever you set the hook, you just kind of do too much. You move the fish too far. You, you know, you have too much power behind the hook set and you'll get those fish out of position. You'll get yourself out of position. So I actually downsize to a little bit lighter at a power rod. It gives me a little bit of give whenever I'm, you know, setting the hook on that swim jig. I really like throwing a white swim jig for a couple reasons. Number one, it really imitates shad. You know, all that type of bait fish that are in all these, all these lakes and stuff around here. There's a lot, of, a lot of white bait fish, but the white also really helps me see that bait come through the water. And this is one of the most fun bites that you could ever be on is watching these fish come up and eat that swim jig like that. So I like throwing white so I can see it a little bit better. It's just a really fun technique to cover a ton of water with fast. And it's kind of like just a four wheel drive bait. There we go. Finally had one eat the old apex. He got it good too. Downsized my little trailer a little bit today. Just kind of give it a little bit something smaller because this lake does get a lot of pressure. That's a little bite on it. So a lot of people will do a lot of different things with a swim jig. I kind of keep it, like when I throw a swim jig, I'm usually working it pretty fast, pretty high in the water column. Occasionally, I will fish it slow and low, like underneath the docks and stuff like that. But for the most part, that's the only application where I'm going to fish it on the bottom. If I'm skipping under docks and I'm slow winding it back to the boat. If I'm just in some type of a ditch or on, on deeper grass or stuff like that, I'll usually go to a vibrating jig or a crankbait because I feel like you can just be a little bit more efficient with like a crankbait. Like if you're fishing something six foot deep, you get a six foot diving crankbait, you can hit that every single time. With a swim jig, you have to count it down and really slow wind it through there. So I feel a little bit more efficient using a crankbait in that exact application. And I pretty much think of a swim jig whenever I'm fishing shallow, you know, wood, debris mats, vegetation, all that type of stuff is whenever I pick up a swim jig. Get him. Pretty one. You just gotta aggravate him. 